Hey, uh, so my name is David Drews, and I'm an adjunct professor at Wake Tech, and this is for the typography course. And I'm doing this short little tutorial just to cover some of the reoccurring mistakes that I've seen throughout the semester. Um, so let's take a look at spacing, and we're going to take a look at some uh, image distortion. And a couple of little design uh, nuances, some things that are are strictly, you know, more art than science. Okay, so first we're going to get into spacing. So I'm coming into my handy dandy in uh, InDesign, and I'm going to. Oh, also something to note: I love me some keyboard shortcuts. Uh, Keyboard shortcuts, not only do they save you time, um, but they are also going to help you put what's in your head onto the screen faster. Um, and you don't have to go searching through menus and, and oh, got to find it, got to find this, and, uh, searching through little panels and menus to find what you need. Once you have a, once you establish keyboard shortcuts for the commands that you use most, then uh, you're just going to start flying, and whatever you can imagine, whatever you're thinking, will immediately go on the screen, and uh, <laughs> every time you go up and start playing with a menu, you, you run the risk of completely losing or forgetting what you were thinking about. Okay, so, uh, some things that help me navigate a busy uh, document are hide and lock. So to hide something is Control-3 or Command-3, and to unhide it, the opposite, is Command-Alt-3. So Command-Alt-3, let's bring that in here. I've got some lorem ipsum right here. Fun stuff. Okay, let's beef that up a tiny bit, because I know you guys, uh, my screen resolution is pretty high. All right, there we go, there we go. Oh, more keyboard shortcuts. To increase or decrease the font size, I am using, here, I'll get it right here, uh, font size. Uh, control plus shift, oops, and plus um, the up or down arrow. I think, nope, that's not right, that is not right. Uh, carrots. So, uh, that doesn't, there we go, that makes more sense. Okay, so I'm in here, control, shift, and greater than will make it bigger, less than will make it smaller. Yay! Now, notice it's going to be jumping by like two, two font sizes. Yeah, it's going to jump by two font sizes. So you can get it in the ballpark, but this isn't for finessing. Um, another thing, leading. So selecting all your text, by the way, this doesn't work if you're just selecting the text box. It's, you have to get in there and select the actual text. So to do leading, um, we're going to hold alt and do the up and down arrows. So here's double, triple, quadruple space, and here's back to like insane can't read space and let me put that in there um let's see what was it alt no wait um letting alt plus um up down arrows cool and uh this is nice reset so letting reset, oh lord, this is um, this is actually going to be some finger gymnastics here. So it's going to be all your command, uh, all your command buttons. So Control, Alt, and Shift, and A, and that will reset it to auto. Let's see where is it? Where? Yeah, there we go. Auto. Okay, Control plus Alt plus Shift with an F in there plus A. Okay, see, look at all these amazing shortcuts we're learning today. All right, 
So, spacing. Let's see what else. Oh, kerning. Kerning is fun. Kerning is the space between letters. And you can do this individually. Here, I'll show you with the shortcuts. You go in between. You do not highlight. You do not highlight. You just go right in the middle there. Hold Alt and left arrow. Oh, let me get that out of the way. Left arrow. Right arrow. Fun. Let's, let's reset that. What is that set to? It's set to 10. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, oh, another fun thing I did. Uh, you know what? I'll get to that later. Okay. So we've got letting, kerning, what's that? Uh, control, oh wait, it's alt, plus um, left, right arrow. Cool. Next up. Okay, so we're going to get into some things that... Uh, I've been seeing around that makes me cringe a little bit. This is um, margins and padding. So fun stuff. Here's your margin. We we know that's that's the margin right there. Fun story. Uh, margins were uh, originally invented so that when the mice and rats started eating the old parchment paper. They would eat the margins and wouldn't actually eat the text. So there's that little rat buffer slash margins. Okay, so please, please, for the love of all that is design holy, never have your text butt up against the actual page or go to the bleed or anything. Um, it, it just hurts. It hurts me. Now, if you do decide to uh, have it extend past the margin, you better have a really good reason. I mean, really good. Um, it will save your grandmother on her deathbed kind of good. Okay. Next up is padding. So I've noticed this a lot. So some people decide to put a color in the background and that is just a nasty, gnarly color. Yeah, let's make it as pukey as possible. Mm, that is delicious. Okay. Look at that. We have a nice, beautiful background color in our box. Um, by the way, I just switched from the box color. Let's see. I am so sorry for it being so tiny. But here's my, my fill colors over on the left. Fill color up here. Now, if I switch to the text color see i've i've learned the keyboard commands for it and i no longer know where the button actually is um you hit j yep there we go j will switch to text okay it's down here teeny tiny down here under formatting effects text let's try that again let's... where's my button where's my button oh well can't find the button but j uh, Font color. Just hit J. Okay. Let's give that all a beautiful white. Not a fan of the HSB, but whatever. Okay. So we've got this. And the problem is, is that we are butting up against... Let's turn that off, too. Okay. We are butting up against... The margin and it just it, it's scrunched it just it doesn't look good it's it this is disgusting like my eyes hurt just trying to read this now over here we got a little blank space but it's uh, it's not helping so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to text box options okay uh, this is one that I don't use a whole lot but I do know where it is at least I think I know where it is Ah, text frame options, control B. So, let's go in there. And here's where you can set columns, you can do width, you can do gutter. Oh, it's great. I want to do inset spacing. So, top, bottom, left, right, it's all locked together. I'm going to hit the up arrow. 
And now you will notice I'm getting some padding in my text box. Nice. 1P6 is a good... I like that. 1P6. This is... That is appropriate for the font we are using. Uh, another keyboard shortcut, fit text box or text frame. Fit text box. Um, so that'll extend the text box if, uh, if it's too big. Control-Alt-Plus-C. Control, okay. But like, so say I'm missing some text here, right? And I get that nice, pretty red thing that says, you done messed up. Uh, just hit Control-Alt-C, and it'll pop it as big as you need it to be. Okay, we are learning much more than I intended. All right, let me pick this up a little bit. Uh, paragraph spacing, we've covered it, but a lot of people are... Uh, either not doing it or not doing it consistently. So let's reset this all back to factory settings because that hurts. Yeah, and J, and da. Okay, cool. Factory settings, beautiful. Uh, if it text a box, what are we doing next? Paragraph spacing, let's, uh, let's make this a little smaller just so you can kind of get the idea Let's do that. Okay. Giant wall of text. Beautiful. So, what I'm going to do is I'm, you have to select all the text now. Uh, we're going to go over to the paragraph. It's what, uh, if you want to find it, at least for me, it's under Windows, under Type and Tables, and Paragraph. Apparently, there's a shortcut for that too, but I always have it up, so. Yeah. And I want to increase the spacing after the paragraph. And what this will do is this will kind of give a visual cue to the reader that, hey, this is the end of a paragraph. So let's beef that up a little bit. OP3. OP3 is a good one. Yeah. It's subtle, but it's still it's still there. We can do OP5. Uh, now it looks like the paragraphs are falling apart. Uh, that they're not cohesive. All right, I gotta pause this for a moment. I have to go deal with something. Be back in a minute. 